NXT 2016. This is interviews, music reviews, and more. This is, this is The Hotter Show. What is up, everybody? We're on audio here today in episode 397 of The Hotter Show. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. Thank you so very much for tuning in and clicking that play button on today's episode of The Podcast. Okay. All right, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. Let's back it up for a second here. Let's get the elephant in the room out of the way. As you can see, I am back. I am here talking to you guys right now. I apologize for the fact that it has been two months of basically full radio silence, unless you messaged me about the show. Thank you to those of you who did message me asking about the show. It really, really means the world to me to know that you guys care enough to reach out and say, hey, um, it's been like two months since we've heard anything from the Hotter Show with no like anything. What's going on? Are you just quitting? What's up? Thank you. I very much appreciate it. The fact that you guys have time to reach out to me. To get this out of the way, um, after eight years and 397 episodes, official episodes anyway, um, I have decided to not lay the harder show to rest. <laughs> not yet. I ain't leaving. What's that? What's that? What? what hang on, try that again. <clears throat> I'm not leaving. Yeah, echo is a bit too much. Uh, yeah. So anyway, all that awkwardness out of the way here. Um, <laughs> so unplanned hiatus is out of the way. The hardest show is not going anywhere. Uh, I have a goal to reach 500 episodes of this podcast. And come hell or high water, oh, we're getting there. <laughs> but I did go on an unplanned hiatus. Uh, the last episode of the show, my conversation with my buddy Dom from Afraid, at the end of that, I did say that you guys would probably only hear from me sporadically over the next few months, over the summer, uh, but I didn't plan on just going full radio silence for two months, so I apologize for that. <laughs> I know. Um, genuinely, the few, the people who reached out to me, like, that was really cool. Thank you. I, I appreciate that, you know, and, and you know who you are. Um but we're here now. I have some quick explaining to do. State of the podcast address here about a couple of things, but I wanted to get that out of the way. This is not, the show's not ending. Nothing's happening. Just, yeah, had some stuff. I had to get that out of the way. For those of you, if you're curious and that's all you want to hear about, cool. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, the next episode you hear of The Harder Show will be some kind of a either an interview or a music showcase or something of that nature. It will not be in it, blah, blah, not be, it will not be an episode like this. <clears throat> that is like just me talking about something random, which is another reason why I haven't been doing any episodes, but we'll get to that. But this, for those of you who are curious about that three minutes in, you have your answer. That's all you care about. Cool. I'll see you next time. Okay, so for those of you who care a little more <laughs> and want to hear some things I have to say and uh, some shout outs I want to give to some people who've been doing cool stuff, um, first and foremost, life has been busy, which is one reason why I have not been doing episodes of The Hotter Show. I've been a lot busier than normal. Uh, things are starting to cool down, so that's cool. My new work schedule means that I now work overnights. And when you work full overnights, doing stuff during the day is a little tricky. So <laughs> that is why uh, you haven't seen any interviews popping up. And I, the main reason why I love doing this podcast is to talk with people so that they can share their story. They can share their music, uh, their creativity, whatever the thing they're doing. So just having episodes with me, just talking for an hour about something random. I like doing them once in a while, but like, I don't, I don't like doing them all the time. 
in the last, God, at least three months or four months even, if I was doing weekly content, that's what it probably would have been. And that's not what The Hardest Show is. The Hardest Show is an interview podcast and it is an interview music podcast. And that's what it is. That's what it will always be. So if I can't deliver that, I'd rather have nothing than have rehashed content all the time or just me blabbing on for an hour about something. Uh, even if it's a, the albums that made me or something like that. It's just, I just wasn't into it. So instead of, <laughs> it's a little harsh on myself, but instead of doing what I felt was just kind of force feeding you guys crap, uh, <laughs> which sounds so bad, but it's true. That's kind of how I felt. I was like, man, this stuff is not going to be like a couple of weeks in a row, or whatever. Okay. But like two months straight of just the albums that made me bloggy type episodes, random stuff like that. I'm just like, I'm just not into it, man. I just don't, I don't think you guys would be either. Um, so absence makes the heart grow fonder and obviously having an unplanned absence, you know, it, it's not ideal, but sorry guys, I unplugged my headphones there, but, um, you know, again, you got to go with your gut. You got to do with what you love. And if I'm not having fun doing something, or if I feel like it's not my best work, I'd rather just kind of be quiet with it for a little while. So that's what we did. Now, with this state of the podcast address, I'm mainly doing this as a little bit of an explanation and to answer the number one question that I've been getting, which is what's going on with the hottest show? Is the hottest show done? So that answers that. Um, the next episode you hear of the hottest show, whenever that will be, I'm not sure when it will be. Uh, I'm hoping for the end of this month again. And then I'm hoping once we hit around September, somewhere in that ballpark, we're back to doing regular content. Um, it might be the rest of this year. I don't know. Uh, but my plan is basically once we reach episode 400, I am going to go ham weekly with whatever I can present to you guys that I feel is good content. And if that means I have to do a bi-weekly podcast, so be it. If that means it has to be a monthly podcast, so be it. If that means uh, I, I just drop content whenever I have it. If that means you guys might have four or five episodes weekly in a row and then nothing for a month, so be it. Um, this podcast is still fun for me to do. But just like I said, scheduling interviews right now has been very tricky. Uh, it's looking like things are going to start getting a little easier with that. So that's very exciting. Um, but yeah, and it's nothing bad. Everything's all good in, in, in the personal life. Everything's fantastic. Everything's great. But it's mainly my skip schedule <laughs> because your boy can't, uh, <laughs> I can't just not sleep. Um, I've given up a lot of sleep for this podcast over the last eight and a half years. <laughs> and that's something that... Uh, I realized very quickly in my now old age, uh, you know, man, I can't do that anymore. Uh, I wish I could, but I can't. So that's kind of the state of the harder show. Underlying point to take away from this. I'm not going anywhere. I'm working up to episode 400, which will be some kind of a live Q and a fun little episode. Um, Hoping to get back to regularly scheduled content as of episode 401. We'll see what happens there. I might hold off and bulk record some stuff and then just start dropping it all in a row. We'll see what happens. Um, I got a lot of people I got to get back to. Um, but yeah, that is the state of the hottest show. Again, not going anywhere. We're still rolling. We're still doing the same content. Thank you so very much to those of you who reach out to me. Do ask what was going on with the auto show. It really means well to me. Thank you. On that note as well, um, <laughs> I would like to formally apologize to those people who reached out to me over the last couple of months who I either just didn't respond to uh, because I didn't really have an answer um, or for those people who said I, I, who I said I would get back to you. Um, it was mostly homies too. So, you know, I, I am sorry. And most of you I've already spoken to. So, you know, I know you guys know. But just officially, if you reached out to me and I did not get back to you, I apologize. Please don't take it personally. 
life's been busy um but yeah i should be getting back to you if there's stuff you still want to talk about you know awesome i have some shout outs for some cool stuff that has happened over the last few months that i want to give when i'm done my little spiel here so stay tuned for that uh some of you are going to be involved in this little shout out here so if you want to be on the show you have something you want to talk about that's coming up or something you've done in the last couple of months please reach out to me let's uh let's make something happen here uh, especially if you are available during the weekdays which i know is hard um i'm trying to make some stuff on weekends work but weekdays are like prime for your boy right now so uh yeah <laughs> that is uh that is what, how we're looking at here but if not We'll try to figure something out. I, I want to get back to doing interviews regularly. I do miss it. I miss talking with y'all. And I miss just doing the hottest show. You know, it's uh, obviously it's still fun for me. Else I wouldn't be doing this. I wouldn't feel the need to do this episode where it's literally just me letting you guys know that like, hey, still here. You know, we're still rocking and rolling. Um, another kind of, I'm not alpha in the room, but like thing I... I because people have asked, I, again, I'm addressing for this. Tape Trepidation, my horror podcast, has been active. Uh, and the reason why that podcast has been active is a lot of that stuff was pre-recorded. And also, I can do that stuff by myself <laughs> at, at any time of the day and night. So that's that. Um it's a lot easier to do that podcast solo because, you know, it's just me narrating stories. Uh, if I had to rely on other people for it, it would also not have been happening. But that is another reason why The Hotter Show was kind of put on the back burner in the last couple of months. Because I was focusing a lot on that. I've been loving it. I've been having so much fun. There's a level of creative fulfillment that, just to be honest, I never got from doing this podcast. It's a different type of of podcast obviously it's a different type of it flexes a different type of my creative uh brain that this podcast only really did when i would do uh skits or narrations <laughs> really uh you know so it, it, it's it's different but we're having a lot of fun a lot of people who were fans of this podcast also listen to tape interpretation so a lot of you already know that uh but yeah, just to kind of get that out of the way as well. If you like horror, you haven't checked out Tapes Trepidation, please do so. I might share a an omnibus episode of Tapes Trepidation here on the Harder Show feed, just to kind of show you guys what the podcast is all about, what uh, you know, what you can expect from it. Omnibus, of course, meaning a really long episode, so it would be like two or three hours of uh of content from tapes trepidation because i've been doing it for uh this week will be episode 23 so i have been doing it for 22 weeks which is cool um some of you don't give a shit about that but again just to cover all my bases of all the questions people have been asking <laughs> so that out of the way there are some people i would like to give some shout outs to because they have been doing some some cool shit. So, first and foremost, I would like to give a shout out to the boys in Pound of Flesh, my Peterborough homies, who dropped their brand new EP, Bad Wolf, which is freaking stellar. Uh, they also had a couple of really great singles in there as well that they have dropped. Uh, one being Purge, which is um, absolutely killer. Uh, which features, sorry, just let me pull this up here, which features uh, Blake Lewis Prince from Keith. Very cool. Um, <clears throat> of course, we have their, uh, their single Wrath featuring uh, Casey Tyson Pierce from Angel Maker. Very cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, really awesome stuff there. And they also just dropped a new single, uh, Forgotten, which I think that, no, that's not even from, the, man, you guys are dropping too much stuff, man. I can't, I can't keep up. When did you drop this? 
I'm just looking on Spotify and I'm like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> you drop another new single? When did you drop this? July 5th. Okay. So that was like 10 days ago. Anyway, um, the Bad Wolf EP, Stellar. Um, my favorite track is the title track, Bad Wolf, because it also features our boy Chris from Seagrave. Hearing uh, hearing Chris on a Pride of Flesh track is killer. Um, so yeah. Shouts to the boys. Uh, yes. Shouts to the boys. Old friends of the show, Beguiler, had a pretty cool thing happen this year as they won uh, Valken's Metal Battle 2024 for Canada. And they are heading to uh, Walken in Germany, which is amazing. Uh, I couldn't be happier for the guys. I've known them for a long time. We linked up, God, I think it was like 2017, maybe somewhere around there. And they've been working hard, a lot of lineup changes and stuff like that. Um, but they've always kept consistent with how great their music has been, especially their newer stuff. I've really, really been digging it. Um, the EP, which the last time we heard from the guys in Beguiler, um, I think that is my favorite stuff they've done. Um, Edirath, which, God, that was a while. That was 2022. But, uh, Love Plague Ridden Rats. Um, they did also release a new single, um, Incarnate, Incar, Incard, and Incard Nine. I can't speak. I apologize. Uh, killer, killer stuff. Uh, big shouts to the boys. Couldn't happen to a group of nicer dudes. And uh, just always keep working hard towards your dream, folks, because you never know. Couldn't be happier for the boys. Um, friends of the show, Matt Lane, Mike Penny, and Andy Colonico uh, are dropping a cover of Hero by Chad Kroger featuring Jersey Scott. And I'm hyped. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. Keep an eye out for that on all their socials. Again, that's Matthew Lane, Mike Penny from the Jailbirds, and then Andy Colonico uh, solo, as well, of course, from Revive the Rose. Uh, that's two killer vocalists. Uh, I, I don't. I, I believe Mike's just playing instruments on it. If all three of them were on that track, it would literally melt your speakers. So that's a good thing. Um, <laughs> But either way, um, can't wait for that. That's one of my favorite songs of all times. And uh, yeah, can't wait for that. Big shouts to the boys. Uh, the boys in Sticks and Stones have had some uh, some cool stuff happening with them. Uh, and they released a brand new single pretty recently. Um, actually, two new singles. Uh, one of which was going down or going down, uh, which is killer. Love it. Um, love the riffs, all that stuff. Super great stuff. And then as well, uh, we are one, two great tracks from the boys there. Go check it out. They also had, uh, had a great time touring, opening up for John five, uh, it was a couple months ago now, but, uh, really cool stuff. Big shouts to the boys. Happy to see them doing their thing and just uh, kicking ass and taking names. The homies in judgment dropped a killer new single entitled currents inhale parentheses inhale uh, parentheses. Is it, how do you pronounce it? It's like currents parentheses inhale parentheses, which I just, I always just said like currents inhale. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, the title is the song is called currents parentheses inhale. Uh, a little more of a pop rock sound for the band, but uh, really awesome stuff. I really dug it, especially coming out with uh, Solace and Stillness, which was a little more like kind of the classic uh, post-hardcore rock, you know, emo, which is like their thing now. They have an Ask an Emo band, uh, which is awesome. Big shout out to the boys for all that great content. Um, coming from that to Currents is is cool it's a um it's a big interesting step and i really dig it so shout out to the boys go check out uh, i mean that's two great tracks from them this year and then they also have a remix of currents uh from on mvrs i apologize for not knowing if how to pronounce that but uh big shout out to the boys 
fully deserve your support. Go check them out. Friends of the show, Septum Bone, outside of Canada here, the boys in Septum Bone, are, uh, are your friendly neighborhood uh, caveman uh, metal band, uh, dropped a surprise EP in May entitled Spring 24. It's full of just caveman moshy goodness. So go check it out. Shout out to the boys, especially my boy Tim. Tim from Greensboro. Uh, yeah, go check out the boys. Someone that I, I was would have linked up with if life hadn't gotten too crazy over the last couple months. So uh, shout out to you, Tim, and all the boys there. Good stuff from them. I think uh, my favorite track <laughs> off the... I got to go with the uh, ne- ne- Neanderthal Stomp, the title opening track. Uh, <laughs> just good stuff. I love it. Uh Really good stuff. Big shouts to the boys there. Uh, my good friends, Nothing Serious, dropped their debut album, Bitter Days. Bitter Days. It is amazing. Go buy it. I have known John and Ed for, God, a long time. And I couldn't be happier to see them just killing it at this point. Still killing it. Making new music. Always growing as musicians. There's some really incredible stuff on there. Some great music, really great hooks. Lyrically, it's stellar. Go check it out and go buy it and go see them live. You will not be disappointed. Uh, I did miss the boys when they came to Peterborough recently, and I hate that. I got to go. I, I had a pretty good track record there. What was it? Late last year? I went to two concerts in a row. <laughs> I went to two shows in a row in Peterborough here. Uh, two in a row, which is like, one on a Friday and one on a Saturday. And I was like, holy shit, this never happens. Um, but yeah, I always try to support, you know, in other ways from afar. Hence one reason why I do this damn podcast. Um, yeah. Anyway, big shouts to the boys, John and Ed, nothing serious. Much love to you guys and uh, love the EP. Absolutely love it. And then uh, last but not least, I want to give a humongous shout out to my pal, Josh from still loading podcast on reaching 10 years with the still loading podcast absolutely incredible i was featured on his anniversary episode along with a really stellar cast of guests so go check it out i'm in part one i believe but go check out the whole thing a lot of great stories a lot of great uh you know josh putting the spotlight on other people who have been influential in his you know his 10-year journey uh, which is just, you know, shows the kind of guy he is. Big shout out to Josh, man. Um, we've been pals for a long time here, back in 2017 with two guys in a game, my old gaming podcast, getting started. And it's been uh, really cool to watch your journey, man. And I'm happy to, uh, happy to call your friend on top of also, you know, podcasting with you once in a while. Still waiting for the invite to come on to talk about Aiden Chronicles, the first mage, but. You know, that's neither here nor there. (laughs) I think that is everyone. If you are listening to this and you've had something happen and you're like, dude, how come you didn't give us a shout out? I apologize. I tried to get everyone. I tried to remember everything that had happened over the last couple of months. Please do not take it personally. Message me and I'll share the crap out of it. I've been trying to share everything that has been happening to still at least try to show my support. Um, you know, leave ratings on stuff and pre-save stuff and, you know, all that kind of fun things. But, uh, yeah, wanted to give some shout outs, let you all know that I'm still here, still rocking and rolling, still kicking over here at the Hotter Show Camp. Just been busy. But uh, like I said, next episode of the podcast you guys are going to get is going to be either some kind of an interview or a music showcase. I don't know what it's going to be, but we'll, uh, we'll figure something out and then episode 400 creeping up on us here plan on doing some kind of a live q a so if you have questions you would like to submit for the q a please do so uh it might be on a weekday in like the afternoon instead of happening on a weekend which is usually what i try to do obviously week at week uh nights are out of the question so you know i'll do my best but if you have a question you'd like to ask or something you want to say uh, you know, reach out to me. Let me know the hardest show at gmail.com and keep up with me there. Of course, we have social media, 
our show, Facebook and Instagram. I do have a discord, um, kind of a little inactive on there right now. As tapes trepidation does have its own discord. I wanted to keep everything separate. Um, but yeah, if you want to join the discord, I do have a link in the link tree, which you'll find in the description of this episode. Come join, check it out. Come hang out with us. Uh, going to start being a little more active on there again. Now that I am kind of getting back into the harder show mode swing of things. So very excited about that. feels good to be back and to uh, have done this with you guys and just kind of hang out with you a little bit. So hope that you enjoyed it and that it answered some questions if you had them. And if you want to come on the show, reach out and let me know. And we'll uh, see if we can figure something that will make something happen. But with that, I'm going to sign off here today. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. And I will catch you next time right here on The Hotter Show. Take it easy, guys.